Correction, don't despise correction. Most people hate to be corrected and will always regard the corrector as an enemy. In fact, correction almost and always is greeted with hostility and in many cases results in extreme anger towards the one who does the correcting. The most alarming thing about this besetting sin is that it causes hatred and can lead to murder. In the book of Genesis chapter 4 the Bible discloses the following how refusing correction eventually lead to murder. Genesis chapter 4 is the story of two brothers, Cain and Abel who each brought their offering to God. Cain became angry that his offering was not accepted and although God corrected and explained to him, by saying, If thou dost well, shalt thou not be accepted? And if thou dost not well, sin lit at the door. And unto thee shall be his desire, and thou shalt rule over him. Genesis 4, 7. Instead of receiving God's correction Cain rose up against his brother Abel who did the offering God's way and not his and instead of taking God's counsel, he poured out hatred towards his brother and so he killed him. The dictionary defines correction this way, to correct is to set right, set straight, see right. Literally, set right, or made straight. To make right, to rectify, to bring to the standard of truth. Correction then is the act of bringing back, from error or deviation, to a just standard, as to truth. In 2 Timothy 3.16, the Bible tells us that, all scripture is profitable for correction and instruction in righteousness. Why? Because God wants us to be thoroughly furnished in all good works. Refusing correction brings both spiritual and physical death, any follower of Jesus Christ, who despise correction, they are haters of the truth. Anyone who does not love the truth cannot and does not love the source of truth. God is truth and God is the source of truth. The Bible said, the truth of the Lord endures forever. Jesus is truth and God's words is truth and it is God's words that tells us to love correction not man's word. Those of us who refuse correction one way, still must and will be corrected in another way by someone else. The young men who refused and resents their parents' correction eventually end up in jail called a correctional facility. Whenever we refuse correction there is a blindness that follows. The Word of God shows us how important and very vital it is for us to accept the truth of correction. A person who refused to be corrected is a person who will not submit and such a person walks in pride and disobedience. Refusing correction is a direct rebellion against God and those God placed in authority. Consider this passage of scripture taken from Hebrews 12, 5-11. Have you forgotten the encouraging words God spoke to you as his children? He said, My child, don't make light of the Lord's discipline, and don't give up when he corrects you. For the Lord disciplines those he loves, and he punishes each one he accepts as his child. As you endure this divine discipline, remember that God is treating you as his own children. Whoever heard of a child who is never disciplined by its father? If God doesn't discipline you as he does all of his children, it means that you are illegitimate and are not really his children at all. Since we respected our earthly fathers who disciplined us, shouldn't we submit even more to the discipline of the father of our spirits, and live forever? For our earthly fathers disciplined us for a few years, doing the best they knew how. But God's discipline is always good for us so that we might share in his holiness. No discipline is enjoyable while it is happening, it's painful. But afterward there will be a peaceful harvest of right living for those who are trained in this way. Those who despise the truth of correction love their sins and they do not want to part with it. Clearly then, any aversion to the truth or correction thereof is a man or woman who really are haters of God's commands, and as such walk in rebellion and disobedience to them. Someone who loves the truth, relies on God's word for instruction. Paul warns, Now I urge you, brethren, note those who cause divisions and offenses, contrary to the doctrine which you learned, and avoid them, Romans 16 17. The saved believe and obey the truth. The Church of Christ is the pillar of the truth. I write so that you may know how you ought to conduct yourself in the house of God, which is the Church of the Living God, the pillar and ground of the truth, 1 Timothy 3:15. Timothy was given a solemn charge, preach the word. Be ready in season and out of season. Convince, rebuke, exhort, with all long suffering and teaching, 2 Timothy 4, 2. God's word convicts men of sin, and changes lives when heard by people who love God, 
Love is correction and loves the truth. Bye, thank you for listening. It is my prayer that you were blessed by this short exhortation. Have a wonderful day. See you soon at the movie Don't Despise Correction.